hello everyone welcome to the tss in this class we are going to discuss about uh, the mvt mechanism of zango okay so in the other frameworks in other ecosystems uh, mvc mechanisms are there and here our zango has mvt mechanism friends let us discuss about it so zango main working principle is depending on this mechanism that is mvt okay so you should understand this mechanism if you want to develop website by using zango framework okay now so before going to read this text let me explain here okay so our mind will capture images and understand images uh, when compared to the uh, text more and more okay so first of all what we will do to request a web page we will open a browser that is called the first step and then uh, opening the browser we, what we will do we will type a website address right so that is the first step friends first step so opening the browser typing the web page address okay so that means what we are requesting a uh, web server for a page okay so this browser is called front end okay and the web server is called back end okay now so that this is the browser now so at the back of the browser this much of uh, uh, stages are there let me discuss all these workflows detailedly because this is the heart of zango okay you need to understand this mechanism without this understanding this mechanism uh, diving deep into this zango is not possible friends okay this workflows you need to understand so but it is very simple do nothing to worry okay the first step is opening the browser and typing the web page address then what django will do is django will check the user provided web page address in its url file so django has one url file will be there all these files will be discussed friends no problem uh, let's discuss uh, this block diagram first then we will go to the files so first step is entering the web page address then what zango will do zango will check that user provided web address in its urls file okay so if the web address provided by the user is there in the url file and it, if the user provided web address matches with the content in the url file then zango allows that routes that particular request to the views views what is views means in views some predefined functions will be written okay developed and made ready okay so the browser requests a web page and then the zango will check for the page address and if the page address matches with the url file routes then the zango allows that request to pass to the corresponding view function here okay okay this defines the business logic friends this layer this view layer defines the business logic in which all the uh, uh, processing logic will be defined okay view function particular view function for different request different view functions will be there according to the requirement okay so that is the step 3 and then if that request needs some data to be display in the web page then view function will contact or will access the model layer okay 
what the model layer will have is model layer will have database models okay so that is designed in the python itself okay uh, it's simply a class files friends class files oh, so it will then will contact the database that is native database this database uh, we may take as mysql or oracle or uh, no sql database and uh, postgres so any database you can put here but the models in models we had defined the database uh, table like so here if you if you have an idea of mysql database tables how we defined our tables we had created some create and a table name then what are all the column names and what are all uh, the data should go into those all those things will be created here no in the um, database mysql like that in models we will use python code to create the database a table like models friends and then the model will contact with the database no matter what database it may be so the same uh, model will be hold good for postgres or mysql or oracle anything so that is the advantages of model with orm support so we no need to change the um, code right so uh, anyway it's a different topic we will discuss when it comes to this particular area now i am sticking to explain the basic mvt mechanism first browser requested the web page the django checks the url file and checks the entries for this particular web page pattern if the django finds that root then it will uh, root that request to the appropriate corresponding view function and the view function will uh, process the business logic and if data is needed then it will contact the models and uh, models in turn contact the database and uh, the database will provide the data to the models and the models will provide the data to the view function uh, and then view function will provide data mixed with the business logic with to the template this is the template layer okay so t t means template m means model v for view okay model that is means here models v means view view t means template here is template these are the three this is m v t okay so in this template templates is nothing but an html document friends okay after the request gone through all these stages the response will be prepared and the response will be uh, served on to the html document and the html document will be finally served to the web browser and the web browser as a response it served to the web browser and the web browser will decodes all the html documents and then it will display onto the screen okay so this is the brief uh, request response mechanism uh, going behind the screens right so when you request any web page this much of uh, phenomena will takes place friends in django web framework so you need to understand this based on this only we will uh, develop web pages if any problem comes uh, while uh, viewing your web page if your web page breakdown you need to enquire in each and every layer what happened what happened if uh, if you doesn't able to see the data uh, in the uh, mm, on the screen then you need to check where the problem occurred maybe where it was located you need to troubleshoot so if you want to troubleshoot uh, the problem you need to first understand this block diagram okay so now i will come to the uh, explanation of files 
Step 1. User requests web page from a browser by typing web page URL address. That is step 1. I had already explained. That is a step 1. Here, browser. Next, Django checks given URL address in its urls.py file. Okay. So, after receiving the browser request, Django checks that browser provided uh, web page address in the urls.py file urls.py file will be available friends we have not yet moved to that because if you are uh, right away moved to that project creation and after seeing all these files you may uh, get confused a little bit that's why i am uh, beforehand explaining all these things urls.py file okay it will be available for these you just Remember, urls.py file will be available like that. In the next class, everything will be clear to you. Okay. So, what can, what uh, code is there inside this urls.py file means uh, it contains URL roots which point to corresponding view functions. If the given URL address matches with the roots in url.py file, then Django forward user request to corresponding view function. Otherwise, Django drops the request. Whatever I had explained, that only I had written. So, if the user has requested and it is matched with the URL roots, then only Django directs or roots that particular request to corresponding view function. Right? Then, what view will do? View means views has its own view.py file. So view.py file what it will contain means it contains functions to be executed upon receiving the user request. So upon using the user request from the browser, the views layer is responsible to execute the functions, associated functions. It defines business logic. If the view function requires data, then it will access with its models okay so for every view function we will define models required models right and then what models will do is the models.py file will be available okay so what it contains it contains models of the data so we will develop some uh, db tables like we did in mysql oracle postgres like that so, if you have had, uh, dealt with my tutorials in MySQL database, you will understand this. Okay, in MySQL, we had uh, created some database tables, no? By uh, using the command create, okay, then table name, then uh, what? The column names and their associated data types and uh, constraints, all those things. So, same thing we will code with python here that's it in the models.py file uh, instead of using uh, core native uh, mysql code or oracle database code or uh, postgres sql code we will use python code that's it and then the python code will itself will contact to the database tables with orm support okay anyway that's an advanced topic we will discuss as we progress friends so for this you just remember here models.py file will contain the models of the data so this data will in turn contact to the database okay so that database any database it may be it may be a mysql or postgres or oracle anything okay and then step 5 step 5 templates templates means this one templates is a folder friends it is a folder okay so in this folder it contains html files which will be served with necessary data to user after performing required business logic by view function okay that means after receiving the request after checking with the url after executing a corresponding view function and after getting required data from the model and database the view function will put all this processed data on to the HTML document. 
so this html document is available where means in the templates folder so this is a folder it is not a file like urls.py views.py models.py like that so these are all the python files view.py urls.py py means python file okay but templates is a folder okay in this folder we have html documents or html files is there so after processing all this request and the data will be uh, available in view function and the what view function will do the view function will put all this data onto the html other words in another words the view function will inject the data into the html document and then it will the django will serve the final html document to the browser okay and uh, in turn browser will display that web page on the screen so this is the background phenomena of zango mbt mechanism friends okay so you need to dwell upon this topic in order to progress to the next classes friends okay so in the next class we will start zango web project okay right friends till then bye bye yours vera signing off thank you for listening